2013-14 Olympic season started off in Calgary, Alberta, site of the 1988 Winter Olympic Games. Noelle Pike is faced to the United States. She was in first place at the end of the first run. She posts awesome time on the bottom part of the track. And when it was all said and done, Pikus Pace, they thought, walked away with the gold medal, but she was disqualified for an infraction on the sled. Elizabeth Yarnold of Great Britain, she wins the gold medal at the first event of the year. Now they move to the Park City track. Pikus Pace had to start last in the field of the first run, but this is her home track. And she blistered the field in both runs, and Pikus Pace rebounds with a track record in the second run. She wins in front of her family and friends. And it's Pike's Pace, Elizabeth Yardold, and the Canadian Sarah Reed, top three in Park City. The next is 2,000 miles away in Lake Placid, New York. We have two women's skeletons event on this weekend. Pike's Pace, for the third week in a row, wins the race. And again, she's not disqualified this time. Pike's Pace really dominates the race over Anya Hoover and Elizabeth Yardold. Good finish for Catherine Eustache from New Zealand, but Pikus Pace celebrates again in Lake Placid. The fourth event was also in Lake Placid, and this time it was uh, Great Britain's Elizabeth Yarnival. She won the first event when Pikus Pace was disqualified in Calgary. She was second in Park City, third in the first Lake Placid race, and this was only a one heat race because of problems with the track. Yardle posted the best time by a lot in this race. She walked away with the victory over Janine Flock of Austria, her first ever World Cup medal, right before Christmas. Now they move across the Atlantic after Christmas. And Elizabeth Yardle shows why she's the World Cup leader. She dominates both runs of the competition. James Bond music playing in the background at the Winterberg track. Yarnold, no mystery. She walks away with the best time. The coaches celebrate from Great Britain. Here's Elizabeth Yarnold. Pike is paced second. The Canadian Sarah Reed in third. And good way to start the second half of the season for Elizabeth Yarnold. Now the World Cup moves to San Moritz, Switzerland. The Royal Pike is pace in the United States. Second on this track the year before in the World Championships to Shelley Rudman of Great Britain. But on this day, Pikus Pace, she wins at the bottom, going away. Elizabeth Yarnold second, Shelly Rudman, the world champion from last year, she gets the bronze. Here's our seventh World Cup stop. They move to the Olympic track above Innsbruck and Eagles. Elizabeth Yarnold does it again. Great time, the exit of Chrysler. Yarnold dominates the race, winning convincingly. And she sets herself up to win the World Cup title. There's only one race to go. And it's Yarnold, Pikus Pace, Janine Flock from Austria wins a bronze medal, ties with Maria Orlova from Russia. Great weekend in Eagles for the great British athlete Elizabeth Yarnold. Now they move to the track in Bavaria. Noelle Pikus Pace has three gold medals in the season. The first race of the year, though, she won. She was disqualified. Otherwise, Yarnold and her would be in a close race for the World Cup title. But Pikus Pace flew down the track like no one else. She runs away with it for 62 hundredths of a second, winning convincingly here in Bavaria. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Noelle Pikus Pace. Janine Flock, it's the European Championship, so she wins that gold medal. What a day for her. Noelle Pikus Pace wins the final race in Bavaria. The World Cup standings, Elizabeth Yarnold from Great Britain is the overall World Cup season title holder. For FIBT Television, it was a great season in Women's Skeleton.